Hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, the title of the video is uh, why one should not dismiss the speculative Elio Wave account. So I've talked about what is uh, speculative uh, Elio Wave account. I've also talked about uh, how to use uh, a speculative uh, Elio Wave account. Alright, now we are talking about why one should not dismiss the speculative Elliott wave count. So you may say, George, I don't want to use it, I don't care about it, it's wrong, but why you should not dismiss it, alright? The first reason why you should not dismiss the speculative Elliott wave count is because of the Helio Wave software. That there are Helio Wave software out there that are counting waves. Some of them are following the Helio Wave rule correctly. Some are, some of them are breaking Helio Wave rules. And um, because of those Helio Wave uh, trading software out there, all right one should not dismiss the speculative Elio Wave count. Look at this session here. I'm looking at the British pound, US dollar. Look at this. So price went up. Boom. Then we have that. Uh, I'm on the monthly chart. All right. I'm on the daily chart. I'm on the daily chart. Went up. Then we have that uh, down day here. If I pull back, a day down day. After touching uh, the moving of the 200, it pulled back. The following day went up. So people say, one, two. Now, Three, four, five. Now, price is at a key level now. All right. Did they sell after five? Yes, they are selling here. So, will that be good for somebody that is day trading for, for instance, to go around and count? Okay, the price move. So, if somebody can see one, two, three, four, five, is he at a key level? If yes, priority to bullish signal above, a priority to bear signal below. Now they sell it down as a day trader. Will you get paid here? That's a high sum. Yeah, you may get paid. So those that were doing them were they successful here? They were successful. Though it is a risky way of using the Elio Wave rule. I'm not going to go back again and talk about what is a speculative Elio Wave account, how to use it. I'm just talking about why you should not dismiss it. So if you want to understand more, you need to go to Two Four Elio Wave YouTube channel. All right, and and. Uh, subscribe and stay tuned because the video about how to use it will be posted um, uh, as I'm recording the video uh, will be posted uh, today on the 1st of March uh, 2019 all right how to use the speculative level earlier we come video okay so suppose you were here you were doing that speculative level we come one two three and then you say four if the common setter is broken you implement a top-down trading method daily chart, hourly time frame, 10 minute time frame. And will you get paid here? Yeah. Okay? Alright, so the speculative area we call, why you should not dismiss it, because of the area way software out there doing all kind of things. Alright. All kind of. So look at this session also here. So price went out here, so, so price was going down before going down, going down. Now he went up before we say, you'll be surprised trading software, blah, 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 you see, one, two, oh, common setter is broken, three, four, five, and then they draw a line, is he at a key level, they see, yes, there's a resistance here, they saw there before, priority to bullish signal above, priority to bearish signal below, we had a daily chart, look at that, they sold it down yes or no, it looks to me there are people out there, there are trading software out there doing all kind of way count that is not taking too, that is not giving too much consideration to the earlier way rule. Now, I'm not uh, a partisan of those that are saying to traders to violate the earlier way rule. I teach traders about the earlier way trading and the earlier way rules. But when you are applying a speculative area wave count, you are switching 
a speculative area we can button. You know what you are doing and you know how to do it. That's why I talk about what is a speculative area we can. That's why I recorded a video also how to use a speculative area we can. Now we are talking about why you should not dismiss it. And I'm doing a demonstration for you here. Why you should not dismiss it. So if you say one, two, come on, three, pull back. If you miss all these, you say, all right, where are we now? So price going from one key level, one, two, three, pull back. Will you be willing, if the common center is broken at the key level, you want to buy, buy at the key level, you want to sell, sell at the key level. I talk about that when I'm talking about how to use the speculative level come. You support resistance level. Am I talking too much? You see now? Now if I pull back down here, again, even in this session here, look at that. One, two, three, yeah, four, five. And then here it become a bit messy. Right? Here it is. Again. One, two, three, four, five. Boom. Speculative area we count without giving too much consideration to the area we count. And the third reason why you should not dismiss the speculative area we count is because of the area wave trading software. The second reason why you should not dismiss the speculative area wave count is because of the trading robots. There are many trading robots out there, robots out there doing all kind of things in the financial market. And some of those trading robots that are not alien wave trading software, okay, they are also, some of them, are counting price moon. One, two, three. Buy, pull back, buy. One, two, common sense is broken, buy, sell. So, second reason is due to the activity of the trading robot most of the trading activity now are done by the computers so understand that the training robot the training software are in the market okay the third reason why you should one should not dismiss the speculative area we come is because of the trading algorithm the algorithmic trading tools out there accounting price moves now we are talking about artificial intelligence. It's going to become very, very serious matter in the near future when we are talking about speculative area we come. Because those people that are creating, uh, developing, okay, the developers of uh, trading software, most of them do not understand deeply the topic of area we come or even the topic of the technical analysis. Now, be careful. There are Alienware trading software out there created by professionals that have been using Alienware theory for years. All right, but there are also trading software, trading robot, algorithmic trading tool out there. Okay, that are somebody just created them. Uh, that person look at a chart and say, "All right, I can beat the market," and. Uh, they observe something and based on that they build or develop a trading software a trading robot or they create what we call the algorithmic trading tool so you will notice that there are kind of all kind of activity in the market all right in the market so one cannot dismiss uh, the speculative area we come the last reason why all right one should not. In fact, I will label this uh, uh, four reasons why one should not dismiss the speculative area we call. That would be a good title, yes or no. So the last reason, or the fourth reason, is because it's going on all the time. So I show you now on the daily chart, yes or no. One, two, three, four, five. Now we see again this move down. One, two, three, four, five. Again, one, two, three, four, five again. Let's go to the hourly time frame. It's going on all the time and all over the place. It's happening on the one minute time frame, five minute time frame, 15 minute time frame. It's happening on the yearly chart, monthly chart. Whether it's a commodity market, fish market, indices, it's going on all over the place. So you cannot dismiss it. So one, one thing I said to traders before is that uh, you want to learn to go into the mind of other traders. So sometimes traders say, George, I don't care about how you trade. It's a mistake, all right. It's a mistake, all right. If a trader wants to tell me how he or she is trading, 
I will pay attention <laughs> because he's in the market, especially if that person is trading something that I am trading to, uh, I, I would like to know a bit about what the person is doing because sometimes other traders may influence okay, your trade. Even though they may be wrong, they may be useless technical traders, they may be crazy area with traders, but the activity in the market can influence your trade. All right. So sometimes, like you want to enter a trade, you are waiting for the price to pull back. Yes, you want it to pull back on the edge of a trade line. You know that that's the best thing that will happen. Okay. You see all the time, especially on the lower top frame. Now you see a group of traders will come in first. And you start buying and probably running away from the trend line where you are waiting for it to pull back. Now, because those traders are using the the the, the, the momentum oscillator, Stokasi was oversold, and they want to buy. Okay, but you don't want it to go up yet. You know it's going to go up, but you want it to pull back gently to a key level. But those traders start buying, and they de they are delaying your trend. And sometimes they may even force you. To enter the trade at a place where you do not want to enter. So probably go up a bit and then you say, Oh, I'm going to miss this opportunity. And then you join them. And the next thing, price pull back to where you were expecting it. Now they take you out of your trade. So first trade and I've been a losing trade. Just one example to show you how other traders may influence you. So the fourth reason why one should not dismiss the speculative area we count is because it's going on all the time and everywhere and there are many traders out there doing the speculative area wake up i think i've said enough 11 minutes that's enough for this tutorial why one should not dismiss the speculative area wake up first reason because of the area wave trading software second reason because of many okay trading robot activity in the financial market Third reason, algorithmic trading tool out there and also artificial intelligence soon joining those algorithmic trading tools. Fourth reason is because it's going on all over the place. I hope I have managed to open your eyes about why one should not dismiss the speculative either way come. And before I forget, I bring you to the hourly time frame. You spot that, you say, don't you bring the hourly time frame. Did he say, say it's happening all over the place? Look on the hourly time frame. Look at this price move here. Okay. So this is a key level. It's a key level. It's a neckline of uh, this uh, inverted uh, head and shoulder chart pattern. That's the neckline. And now you see the price went up a bit and then pulled back to retest it all the way here. Look at that. Okay. Now it's going up. Yes or no? So here, look at that. It went up. One, two. Stay with me, please. Okay. Three, four, five. Now it hit a target level. Eh? <laughs> there is a target there. Now, and it's pulling back. Target there because of a wider okay inverted head and shoulder. This is a wider inverted head and shoulder. Because of this wider one. There's a target there. So this move from here, one, two, three, four, five. Speculative level call. Even from this key level, <laughs> even from this key level, alright, you see uh, here it went one, two, three, four, five. So pull it back. Now, you may say, George, you can go on and on and on and on and talk about this all the time. You see? So here we can say, okay, it went up one, two, three, four, five, all the way to the target. Alright? Now, this is on the hourly time frame. So previously, I was on the daily chart. That's what I'm saying to you. All right, is happening all over the place and all the time, and one should not dismiss the speculative area we come. But before you start jumping all over the place using the speculative area we come like a kangaroo, at least to make you laugh a bit, I'm not insulting you. All right, understand? It's very very important that trader learn the area we principle and uh, apply it correctly. By doing so, if you master the area with principle, you will understand more what is going through the mind of those that are using the speculative area we count. Not only that, you will use the speculative area we count uh, more accurately 
than those that are not using it. Another thing that I need to mention, be sure to watch the video about how to use a speculative area of account so you may use it okay correctly all right as always if you leave something like this it's very exciting it's risky also that's why we are using the word speculative do not throw money at it use a demo account practice practice until you master it before going live it's so important sometimes new traders watch video like this and then they throw money at it only to lose and they come back and they dump the method away and they run away looking for another method i've done it myself before and it's not a good thing to do all right so master it first practice master it before okay putting it into yours all right that's the best way uh, forward if this video has been truly truly useful to you please let us know by giving us your beautiful thumbs up if you dislike it mark it down you think it's an essential tutorial that can help other uh, technical traders out there uh, feel free to share with your friend on google plus twitter facebook and terminal all right sometime i'm posting video first on facebook my facebook page is stochastic dash follow us also on facebook my youtube channel talking about alien we count is two four Elliot Waves YouTube channel A2 digit 2 digit 4 Elliot Waves in plural YouTube channel subscribe to them and be sure to click on the notification bell so anytime we record a new video you will be the first person uh, to be notified all right to learn more about the Elliot Wave trading go to www.24elliotwaves.com until the next time enjoy yourself and be uh, very happy. We are the TSTW24 uh, traders talking about why one should not dismiss the speculative in your wave account. Happy to to you all and I will uh, speak to you soon. Thank you for watching. <laughs>